Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> For some reason, my voice today has decided to just get so rough, but I would never be um, more grateful for the speech that Sharon just gave, because it is a preset of what my speech would be. Why do you do what you do? And that should lead us into goal setting. 2020 was an interesting year to say the least. I enjoy reading a lot. When I look back in 2018, I read about 30 books in that year. In 2019, I read about six books, I think in total. 2020, I read three books. I'm not even positive I finished the third book. Why didn't I read enough in 2019? Oh, I was busy. I was extremely busy. But what about 2020? Why didn't I read? I love reading. I enjoy it. But why didn't I read as much? And I realized it's because I was not intentional and I was not purposeful about my reading. In 2020, I was followed um, and only working one day a week for about three months. So time was never an issue. I just needed to be purposeful about what I was doing. And Sharon asked a good question. What do I do and why do I do it? And if we ask ourselves this question over and over again, every day, as you do what you do, you ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? What am I doing and why am I doing it? I think helps us get to that point of self-actualization, of doing those things that are meaningful and that are valuable to us. And for us to get to that point where we're doing things that are meaningful and helpful to us and helpful to others and get us to that point of self-actualization, we do need to take a step back and actually keep count. So you define the goal that you want to make. What is that thing that you want to do? And I'm not talking about New Year resolutions. And why not New Year resolutions? Because it's January 22nd. They tell you that habits take 21 days. So as of yesterday, if you had any New Year resolutions, they have become a habit, right? So by show of hands, how many people have made their New Year resolution a habit? And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a New Year resolution because 21 days to get a habit of reading more or eating clean or working out more does not give you an end goal, an end purpose. What I'm looking for in goals is an end purpose. Do you desire to write a book? Do you desire a career change in a certain direction? Do you desire to be in a certain space where you're helping people in a very specific kind of way? And if that is your intention, if that is your desire, then my question to you would be, what are you doing? What are you working on right now? What are you doing and why are you doing it? Does it tie to that end goal? When I think about it, and the more I thought about it this year, I realized I need to define one or two things that I would like to define my life. The entirety that is Caroline. I'd like one or two things that when people talk about me five years, 10 years, 20 years from me, from now, they can look back and say, Caroline, the one who did this. Like today, if you talk about Chad, it will be the gym owner, the trainer, the, you know? If you talk about Jesse, it will be the financial coach. So if you talk about Caroline, what will you say? What exactly do I associate and tie my name to that would be defining? And that is the goal that I want to set. Not for one year, not for five years, but something long-term that finally defines me. And how do I do this? When I get to that end goal, 
I would like to get that definition of who am I? What do I want to do? And why do I want to do it? And then reverse engineer that to how do I get to that point? Five, 10 actionable things, very clear definitions of what do I need to do to get to those, to, to that big goal? And then go one step further and put actionable items to the actionable items that you did. And in each one of them, it will be something that you do each and every day that walks you closer to that end goal. And if you look up or if you look at what you are doing and you realize that it's not driving you to that end goal, it is not impactful or meaningful to that end goal, then you take a step back and ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? What is it that I'm doing and why am I doing it now? Because it is not impacting your end goal. And so if you keep count, you continue keeping count, you continue asking yourself, as you act, be intentional, be very precise in your actions so that you are able to get to that point of achieving your goal due to your own drive, due to your own planning. And by the end of the day, I want to be able to look back and say, Caroline mentored or Caroline taught young girls or Caroline built this empire around herself to be able to guide young girls to be the bosses that they need to be or that they should be. And when I do that, I want to be able to look back and say, yes, I did it. I did it well. And I am proud of that person that I have become. In goal setting, define your end goal. Define that one thing or those two things, whether personal, financial, social that you want to do. Then break it down into meaningful, achievable actions. Then take those actions and break them down into daily actions that will lead you to that end goal. And I hope with those few steps, you will be able to get to that one big goal that defines what do you do and why do you do it. Thank you very much. 